because it does kind of resemble what it used to be before. Yep. So both of our players are fairly happy with the characters uh, to be back where they started. Yep. All right, but here we go. Going to go ahead and get things started. I mean, Olimar is still a relatively the same kind of character <laughs> as he was in Smash 4. The thing is, is that projectiles and just the way he moves is uh, significantly more advantageous in this type of uh, game mechanic set. Right. And oh, my Lord. Can we talk about that white Pikmin? That did so much damage, just pointing TLTC onto the right side of the stage and then latching out onto it once again, already racking him up to 97%. Yep. And at the same time, we got uh, Palutena, got her frame data a little bit uh, improved, and the hitboxes are still really good for catching people on two frames. They last really long, so you can catch them as they drift towards you and stuff like that. So T TC is definitely going to have a good time. The only problem is uh, or the, the long-lasting hitboxes also help because of a small character like Olimar. It's going to be hard right. to hit, but you get those long-lasting hitboxes to help you in the process instead. Right, and of course, you know, all the back... All that, that power from the back air that you know, TLTC is going to have at disposal and still re uh, retains its invincibility frames as well. Yep. So a good up throw from Rich Brown is going to even up the stocks. Yep, up throw still works for Olimar. And, of course, the shield still has that intangibility uh, on, the, on the arm and the, the body. I like that... Uh, Throwing it from Olimar is actually like a team effort now. It's not just one Pikmin like bodying someone. It's like all three actually grab and then do the throw animation. Yeah. And it, I don't love that. It's hilarious. Mm -hmm. uh, but both these two are pretty much going neck and neck at the moment. Catching them on the platform, they'll get a check chase. And when you see the explosive flame, there's a little white flick that you can see. If you don't have sound, then you can always uh, look to see for that uh, white little flick. And that'll help you uh, be prepared for explosive flame. Yeah, so you do want to keep an eye out, even if uh, you don't have the audio cues. Okay, trying to get the, the platform cancel. Didn't quite get it. Uh, misfaced it. Oh, yeah, that time didn't quite get it right either. And it's just going to get hit by a purple Pikmin up smash to be able to close out that stock. Now, one thing that's different about Olimar in this game uh, versus previous iterations is his, uh, his up smash. His up smash got significantly buffed in terms of his animation because now, instead of uh, throwing himself out, uh, he simply just points up and it ends super quick. So we're going to see that being a great tool uh, yeah. in this matchup. Yeah, and then we blinked and where did the damage go? 131 already on TLTC's last stock. Going to try to catch him there. Did not quite find the right guess. Mm -hmm. TLTC's going to have a second chance at life here. What's the edge trap going to be? Into another back air. Close it out. And of course, playing a Politana player, being so seasoned as he is, he's really used to using that 50-50, just short hopping at the ledge, um, and then kind of making it difficult to tell if he's either going to get a grab or is he going to try and kill with the back air. Yep. TLTC slowly bringing this back, though. You can see he's trying to make some big plays when he went for that meteor. As soon as he saw him drifting down, he's like, all right, I'm going to try to end it all here. 51% uh, racked up because of that combo, though. And big forward air standing TLTC across stage. As, oh, we got the grab, and that's going to be enough throw. Yeah, that'll be it. Yeah, definitely neutral get up to shield. You can call that out. There's only one frame of invincibility in between, or, or one frame of vulnerability. But if you can call them out on putting up the shield to be able to get that extra invincibility, you can get a grab and close it out like you and did there. Yeah, just the shield. Start up on shield is already adding the, that extra frame. Mm -hmm. There's a couple extra frames. But uh, now we're going to TLTC's counter pick. Is he just going to do a music counter pick? Well, we have quite a few amounts of... Uh, Pokemon soundtracks uh, to be able to choose from. 32 unlocked so far on this setup. You could get potentially more if you go into the shop <laughs> in the game and be able to buy all the other options. Now, people are calling Pokemon Stadium 2 the new Smashville of Ultimate. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I've, I, for most part, at least for top players anyway, I've seen them start on Pokemon Stadium 2 mm -hmm. a lot. So I feel like this is how the bands go. It's a very interesting stage. It has the lowest ceiling. Uh, but it's also a very wide stage as well, both uh, in terms of the platform and the wideness of the stage itself. So it's interesting to see, for sure. Yeah, definitely a favorite among the top players. As you can see, we're taking it right back to Pokemon Stadium 2. And a forward smash. Woo! See, Rich Brown was not ready for that. Explosive Flame just kind of weaving around. And now falling back, he's going to be able to grab the ledge and reset his jump. Got a forward tilt. Yeah, that has a very long-lasting hitbox, so he can catch people. Off stage as well. The falling nair, classic stuff that you see in Smash 4 as well. Still not enough to take the stock though. And try to do the up tilt as well. To be able to get the kill just like that, and he was able to do it just fine. That's right. Richard Brown, uh, of course, dependent on his Pikmin, needed to match the B button a little bit and got punished for it. 
fair into neutral air. Try to catch him with an up air, but the spacing wasn't quite right. Especially, Auto especially when you're going for those uh, follow-ups that aren't true combos. Mm -hmm. You got to be careful about where you put your positioning and stuff like that. Because you're a little bit off, then your uh, opponent can definitely just immediately throw out a hitbox and just get back to the stage. But gets caught in the up air, barely. Not That's enough right. to take it. Uh, TLTC is doing a great job of making, uh, giving Rich Brown a difficult time of landing. He was sharking his landings for quite a bit. Even racked up a full 80%. Which, uh, these, these percents, you know, Olimar is still a fairly light character. He could die just like that from a back air. Yep. I think TLTC is a little bit more warmed up. He's definitely been getting those uh, the, the platform cancels a lot better this time around. And that's it may have, may have also just been like a, a case of the nerves because he did beat, um, I believe it was AC to get here. Oh, okay. He beat, no, he beat Ido to get here. That's right. He oh, beat I see. Ido oh, okay. uh, in winners to make it out of uh, pools. So he, you know, I, TLCC has been turning it up. And from what I understand, this is actually his first tournament in Ultimate. He has not gone to any locals. Dang. Well, he was always a fundamental type of player, so I feel like that just benefited him more mm -hmm. uh, as he transitioned into Ultimate. Because the neutral game is uh, much more important, I feel, than the uh, punish game has been in this game. Well, Rich Brown has a little bit of, of a mountain to climb. <laughs> you can call it Mount Olympus, as this goddess continues to extend her lead. Yeah, th this is pretty difficult to to come back, but we've seen Smash 4 terms that have been worse than this, so it's definitely possible. But then oh. again, you got to think about the, the mechanics, like Rage has been toned down and stuff like that, too. And the Nair taking him off stage yet again. Still got his jump, though. Yeah, it's true. We have been seeing comeback after comeback. But, ooh, okay. So one tool that we haven't really seen Rich Brown utilize, which really is... What? <laughs> Did hitting the throwing the Pikmin actually extend the hurt box? I think, his, hit box? I think he barely got his hand in there. And then while the the up smash was still active, he just got he just died. The sweet spot on that has been has been. I, it looks like it lasts longer. It's probably it's probably the same. And we we're just talking about placebo, but that he just. Got, I mean, it was, I blame it, that it's Pikmin. Been, it's been out, and then he walked into it, and he still flew off. Stage. I blame that Pikmin. That Pikmin destroyed Rich Brown's recovery. Yep. Oh, uh, we're going one one. Yeah, one one. Uh, I don't believe this is uh, best of five just yet. I, from what I heard, only top 32 is going to be best of fives. Okay. But uh, one tool that we haven't really seen Rich Brown utilize is the whistle. Remember, they, he can always use that whistle to give himself super armor, we'll call a Pikmin back to him, and it's a great landing tool. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to Yoshi's Island. Uh, smallest stage all around. Uh, this is basically the town and city of this game where the... Both the ceiling and the and the side blast zones are going to be really small, and it makes a lot of sense why Rich Brown will go to a stage like this. The slanted the slants on the on the stage make it very difficult for characters who like to short hop uh, to hit small characters, especially if they crouch. But as you can see, Tails to see making great use of the auto reticle. Yep, projectiles significantly better. Power shields aren't really a, a thing. It's called parrying now, and of course uh, that requires shield dropping rather than shield uh, putting up. So. Definitely a little bit more difficult to navigate around projectiles, especially in early meta. Okay, up smash gonna beat out TLTC's down smash. Alrighty, we got purple, red, and yellow online right now. So far, just a flurry of projectiles, but the end lag on the explosive flame will cost him that stock right there. That's right, quick up smash from Rich Brown. That's gonna be lights out for TLTC's first stock. You see up smash connect, but being able to roll past it Alrighty, Rich Brown still keeping up the control here. Decides to throw a Pikmin instead, get some extra damage at the cost of his uh, stage advantage. But this is a really small stage, uh, like in terms of physical stage itself. Mm -hmm. So he can he can gain back advantage r relatively quickly as well. Wow. Okay. So just staying on Rich Brown's tail, and sending him over and over to ooh, opposite side of the stage and falling neutral air will clean up that stock. Yep. You only get one air dodge in this game. So if you're <laughs> caught on your up B, or if you're caught drifting down, you're kind of just a sitting duck and you have no choice with the up B, which is still very vulnerable for Olimar. That's stayed consistent uh, between Smash 4 and this game. Okay, dash attack is going to put dash attack to back air. And Explosive Flame not, not really doing too much in this matchup. We've seen Rich Brown have, be able to avoid it with, with a lot of ease. Okay, dances around him. Oh, catches him on the last part of the Explosive Flame. Okay, F smash gonna connect for Rich Brown. Retaking stage control. Let's see how he gets back. Okay, dash attack still uh, invincible on the shield as well. And Rich Brown went for a grab there. 
All right, how's he going to get this edge guard? I like that. Throw the Pikmin on TLTC. Wow, the F-Tilt standing up. Lasted so long, they got clipped by the end. Yeah, they definitely made Politanus tilts more useful in this game. Four tilt used to be pretty dang useless, but now it at least kills. It lasts a little bit shorter on the frame data, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. And as we are, game three, one stock apiece for both of our players. Correction, by the way, this is best of five. This is best of five, okay. Alrighty. Okay, gonna get that back air. Let's put it back off stage. Yeah, these two are. Uh, Really going at it, but TLTC has been on top of Rich Brown so far. The high recovery this time kept him tricked. And this time he's using his recovery mix ups right on the last stock when he needs it. That's right, Rich Brown sticking to his game plan, putting Pikmin onto, onto TLTC. Every Pikmin that he puts on, that's damage. That's easy damage that, that uh, Rich Brown needs to rack up. Okay, these jump nares not quite working out in Rich Brown's favor. See, I'm pretty sure throwing the Pikmin at that uh, up smash is actually making it last longer. Run off Nair. Is that it? Ooh. Yes, it is. And we see a pop off from TLTC with his fist in the air, celebrating that hard victory yeah. as he goes up. And now his advantage is his. Even if Rich Brown is able to win the next game, uh, we're going to have TLTC picking the game or the last game of the set. We're going to see. have to see which uh, stage they're going to be ending up on, though. All right, we're going to town and city. Uh, now now it has the tallest ceiling in the game. I know. Uh, what okay. a reversal, right? <laughs> yeah. Going from being having the smallest blast zones to having the largest. Yeah, the side blast zones are still pretty small, though. Uh, they're, they're only um, the only sm smaller stage, at least on the side blast zones, is Yoshi's Island. So still still good on the side blast zones, at least. But yeah, these, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of room for Rich Brown to be able to throw Pikmin's and uh, just keep away from Politena altogether. I feel like the problem on Yoshi's Island was just that the space uh, wasn't quite working for uh, Rich Brown. He just kept getting suffocated because of Politena's speed. At least here he has a little bit more room to uh, room to run around. Okay, a little big dash attack coming out from Politena. And you can see both these players continue to trade. Just rack up the damage on each other. Oh, Ooh. missing an easy punish from a dash attack on his shield. Uh, her dash attack does not cross up. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of difficult. It's, it's the, like Smash Four muscle memory. It's like, oh, this crossed up before, so it should cross up now. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of moves that you can tell that the developers are like, okay, this should not cross up at all. <laughs> and, like, I mean, you're literally putting a shield. But wow, great conversion into the light or the fire. Yeah, but uh, oh, okay. I guess he has Smash. I was gonna say the explosive flame at the end right there. It sends your opponent up. So as long as they're not being sent towards the side even more, then your opponent should be able to live. And he, he wasn't near the blast zone as uh, as we would like to be. Mm -hmm. All right, fighting back, using the yellow Pikmin to put TLTC in a lot of stun. Yeah, still able to get that edge guard even with the high recovery. Wow, down F Smash connecting. Rich Brown was not happy about that one. Actually reeled his head back into the chair. All right, I like the space control with those back airs. Rich Brown doesn't really know what to do to get back into the neutral position. Again, another back air. It looks like the Rich Brown is having a hard time knowing how to just get around the goddess right here. I mean, it's very difficult. What do you do when a lot of your options are actually get beaten out by a back air? He, he, we're not even sure that, uh, I'm not sure that wake up attack from ledge would be enough because they would just simply like clash or just hit each other's invincibility. Yeah. TLTC with the control again, tries to go for another F Smash punish. It's not going to work out there, but still. Oh, I like the idea that he had, though. He was either going to put Rich Brown uh, in a horrible position, and the risk reward for that move was oh, oh. immense. Ooh. Wow. Dang, that was so much pressure coming from that explosive flame. Olimar doesn't have to do the, the best aerial mobility just because he's a floaty, so it's kind of hard for him to really drift back down and get to the stage. That's right. So That's right. TLTC just took advantage of that and was able to get that explosive flame I just and get the kill. That. I just love the explosive flame, though. He did not care uh, about appearances or how many times he's going to push the button. He's going to mash that explosive flames until it wins in the game, yeah. and it did. Mm -hmm. I think it was really advantageous for him, too, to go towards the Town & City platform when it was available, just to be yeah. able to chase him and continuously do it as well. I That's think that right. was a really big advantage that allowed him to be able to get that situation where he needed to get that kill up on top. Yeah, well, good stuff to TLTC.